it's Alex and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I edit and how I edit my videos and my thumbnails and do you notice anything different? My hair is not short, I don't know if you guys see. So this is my first video of 2019 and I was going to film a little bit earlier but I was, I didn't really have the time to do it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get on with this video. Hey guys, uh, so this is my editing software. I use Filmora, and yeah, so the first thing I usually do is grab my intro right here. This is my intro that you guys saw in the beginning of this video, and it's not that long, but no. So that's how I do that. And then I grab my actual video. And I'm going to show you guys my makeup look of New Year's Eve. And that's what I uploaded on actually New Year's Eve. So I'm just going to show you guys. And this video took 31 minutes to make. So that's why I did a little editing. But on that video I actually used my Christmas intro. But I don't use that anymore. Because, like, because, like, Christmas is over now. So, yeah. And if my transition, and I will use transitions if I think my videos need it. Like, on my intro, for example. So, I just scroll, I'll scroll back to see if I need it. Back. And now, I'm going to look for transitions. I want to, I want my video to come up, you know, from that little, um... You know how that went back uh, to smaller? I want my video to get larger. So I want to see if they have that these type of transitions. So guys, I actually was trying to look for the transition I wanted to use, and there's no no really transition that would actually fit this intro, so I'll just leave it. Now, for my intro, if I have a long pause before I say, hey guys, it's Alex, I will look where it is, and then, like, for this example, and then I would cut it, and then I would click this little spot that has my video, and delete it. So, yeah, and I would continue doing that if I have a long pause or if I'm doing something or I have to, go, I have to leave when I, the video is filming or just do something that the video might make my, it, make, it might make my video longer. So I would just keep doing the same thing and go here and then I'll just cut it. This is not what I actually did on my video because, as you can see, I'm probably stopping to the point where I'm talking. But it's fine because I'm just showing you guys what I am doing. And let me show you guys how I do my subscribe intro. And as you can see, this has green right here. Show you guys how I do that. Okay. So, as you can see, it's green and you can't see <laughs> what what's going on behind the green so I just right click the video and then or the subscribe intro and I will click on green screen then I'll make parts of the clip transparent and then it's it makes green transparent so I said okay and then my subscribe will come up I don't have the sound on right now because uh, I don't want it to disrupt my recording. So then I, you know, I would keep, you know, cutting. So now that's how you cut uh, parts out of the video. Now for the text. So sometimes, like, here's this example. Um, I used this to tell what makeup products I'm, I was using like um and then I would just switch from blue to pink and blue to pink that's what I kept doing so and then my then I go ahead and double click that and then it would just 
go ahead and <laughs> so I can edit the text. And now I sometimes if I just need like one like one of these, I would just delete one. So I'm just gonna delete this one. I go backspace and you can't see. So now I have to edit this one. Let's say highlight because that's what I use in this video. So highlight and then since this part is very long and it's way too long because highlight is a short word. So we just go ahead and crop it to a good size. And then I click OK and then I just leave it at that. And some and music, I use my music for my background sometimes on when I'm talking because if it's like just blank spaces and it's too quiet, that's what I do. So I actually need to download most of these, but some of these uh, I already downloaded. And let's just say this one for now. And a lot of the musics are short. Uh, as you can see, it won't fit the whole video. But... I and then I will just grab another music to go right here after that. So when I'm talking, I double click the song and I I go ahead and put the volume like maybe let's say just like low like maybe there and then it'll just be quiet behind where I'm when I'm talking and then if I do like a speed up Thing, I would just leave the volume at 100 so that's what I do for music it's I just really like how I do it I just really like Filmora and also um, I don't have the logo anymore of Filmora it, the watermark I it used to be there so I actually bought the lifetime plan so that it won't do that and I don't have to pay once a month or once a year so that's pretty good and it's only sixty dollars and yeah so if you think Filmora will if you if you think Filmora is good because that's why I use for the night routine video like I filmed a while back it had the watermark and yeah so you can just test out Filmora and just and download it and test it out if you like it then you can buy it if you want to or if your parents said you can so now filters um filters are like uh these are sometimes filters are like hmm, that makes your it can make your video look like lighter or darker i don't really use filters but i used it on one of my other videos like when I told you guys my top 10 favorite games and favorite or top 13 I don't remember but favorite games and my favorite Netflix shows so and I used one of these and this kind of makes you your video brighter so this see that's what it looks like I'm just testing this out Okay, see, um, I don't like this filter, but <laughs> you can use all these filters that you see, and yeah. Now, let's see, elements, I don't really use elements, because I tried using them before, I don't think they really worked for me, but I don't really need to use ele elements, so, yeah, except I do use arrows sometimes, so... Let's see, let's put an arrow here, and now, let's, it won't show anything right now because you, I'm pretty sure it'll just, it'll just appear, but like, okay, so, and then play it. So, let's delete that arrow now. <laughs> so, that's what I use, and here's this, um... Also, I, I used this once, this little hand motion thing. I used it once when I was doing my random Sims 4 gen genetics challenge. So, yeah, in split screen, I believe that's when you just add different videos into split screen. I don't know too much about this because I never used it. But, yeah, so that's what I do with this whole 
video process and it's not that hard and then I will go on Google to search up images if I need to or search up like a different type of text that I can use which will look ma make my video look way cooler so then I go skip to the end and then let's put my video intro my intro so I don't have my outro in so if I want my outro in here I go into import because I already edited my outro I edited it separately from this video and then import media files and then it on Alex my YouTube videos see my outro so now it's here and then I would just add it to my video and then the reason why I don't have my pictures of subscribe or recent videos is because I do that when it's uploading and I use end screen transitions or whatever and then I put my subscribe here and my recent videos here so yeah that's how I edit my videos let me show you guys where I get my transitions and subscribe transitions and all of that I just look at all of these green screen transitions and I see which one catches my eye this one's kind of catching my eye right now you can also get any color transitions like blue screen transitions transitions as well as long as it's the same color behind what you want to actually keep in your video okay so it, well, i just watched through the video and sometimes i'll skip through it so which one goes so okay let's look at here okay that was pretty cool Okay, so I actually edit out what transitions I want to keep in. So I'll just go ahead and copy the URL and then I go to my YouTube MP3 converter and I actually switch to MP4 because they actually have MP3 and MP4. So yeah, and I searched this up off of Google or like any internet internet browser you would choose so and then I just paste the URL into this and then I would push convert and then download and then and then I push the the little box that comes on up on my screen I just push open and then I'll save it so that's how you do it I don't really want to save this video right now but so once I, I add my transitions or whatever, I will go ahead and export it. And I put the format I like to use is MP4 so it can actually upload to YouTube. And yeah, you can push YouTube. I just I won't put YouTube on. Uh, I'll just push files because it's kind of easier for me. And then I export it. So it takes a long time. Depends how long your video is. Um, now I will go to my YouTube thumbnail. Okay guys, so now we're, I'm going to show you guys how I edit my thumbnails. And I actually use two thumbnail, uh, two thumbnail, uh, I actually use two thumbnail creators. So this one is called canva.com. I'll link that in the description. And it's pretty easy. Um, I just go ahead and upload my backgrounds, like my pictures. Let's just say, hmm, this one for example, because that's what I used on my thumbnail. And then I would go ahead, I will crop it to the size I think it will fit my thumbnail, but I'm just going to leave it at this right now. And then I use my text, and then I would add anything like New Year's Eve makeup look. That's what I usually do. And I would add a different background so we'll just say makeup look because like, oh, I spot it wrong but it's fine <laughs> and then I go ahead and highlight all of this and it I change the color of it so it, you guys can actually see it and I go I change the color of it to at least light because you can kind of see the light colors so then you that's 
what it looks like. And now I also just I put it to the size I to wherever I want it. So I'm like just save right here. And then I will edit the size. So I go ahead and highlight it again. I don't think you need to do that, but that's what I do because I'm used to it. So now I go, let's just say, like, a 56. <laughs> and then I would also change the text sometimes. Depends whenever, whatever I want to. Let's just say this one because I really like that one. I barely use it, but I usually use the one you, it looks like you have handwriting. Or sometimes, maybe, I would use in cursive. So... Yeah, and here it is, the makeup look. Now, that's sometimes what I usually do. And then I also, maybe if I upload, like, something else um, on it, this would just be fine because I'm not, it's just New Year's Eve makeup look. But if I'm, like, doing, uh, like, a reaction thing or something about Netflix or Minecraft, I would add it. Like, let's say Sims 4, for example, I would do... I am because I played Sims 4 for you guys for a little bit, but I would just put it right here. Or like if I'm uh, doing unpopular opinions, this is what I did for my unpopular opinion video. I just go to right here or like right here because has it cuts off the arm, so that's what I do. And also. Um, when I'm just want to be super creative, I would add a heart. So a lot of cool things that I do. So, yeah. That's how I edit my thumbnails. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys know what to do when editing with my editing software that I actually use. Please like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!